my fellow citizens of the seventh universe. My name is Matt Player. If you wish me a civic, and welcome to kind of a creation that I did here on Minecraft. So, as you guys have known, probably that I've been doing a lot of Minecraft related series for the past couple of years based around Dragon Ball and Naruto. Now, one thing that I've never done myself until now is put the two together. The reason being for this is because a lot of Naruto mods do not work with Dragon Block C. Dragon Block C is a beast by itself and doesn't like working with certain mods. Now, I figured it out. I figured out a certain mod that does, in fact, work with Dragon Block C. So we have a Naruto mod working together, which is actually, um, if you've been watching my past Naruto series, it's the same Naruto mod in that series, and Dragon Block works hand-to-hand -to -hand together and actually does a freaking good job working together. It's actually kind of interesting because both both mods will be using both uh, melee melee stats to level up their TP from Dragon Block and TP for the Naruto mod. So it's going to be quite interesting seeing them work together. Also, my friends, we have some issues. We got some drag... We got some... Uh, we got some uh, major issues over there. You can see that there's already uh, dinosaurs over there. Uh, there's also some ninja uh, that are currently over there just like scooping out the competition. So I don't want to go over there. Also, I should probably set it to um, game mode S. Except some of them might be coming after me. The, no the ninja kind of come out of nowhere. Uh, I see. I see some. I thought I saw some. But yeah, so we can actually access both naruto and dragon ball at the same time so you guys already know we're gonna go ahead and make that half say i guess half saying because we're half saiyan we're not half human we're like half saiyan half ninja so half saiyans actually work out like perfectly in this situation uh let's go ahead give me my usual usual haircut of uh this we'll put that tail in there there we go and we'll have this we're gonna have our we're gonna have our warrior spirit here our green key cory Green key, and there we go. So we have now Dragon. We have Naruto, uh, Dragon Ball working right now, and at the bottom there, you see on, right above my webcam, it says 25L25. We also have the chakra going at the same time, so we got both key and chakra working with us at the same time. It's kind of weird. Also, it seems that the dinosaurs actually despawned there. Ah, but there is still uh, there's still a couple things over there. There's still that robot, so I kind of actually want to go over there. And I wanted to test some things out. So, first off, as we already probably know, we got the we got the story mode. So we've got a story mode for Naruto, and we got a story mode for Dragon Ball. There's a lot of stuff we can actually hit with both these mods put together. Um, we also have the chakra the chakra nature page, so we can see here. Oh, yep, here comes all of our abilities. So we have here. So oh, I didn't realize it actually says something right about there. Um, let me move my webcam to right. Mm, see, that's the problem. I don't know where they exactly moved my webcam. Let's put me down here. No, that's my webcam. My webcam. Nah, we'll put it in front of the, the mini map. You guys don't need to see the mini map, really. Do you need to see the mini map? I think uh, I mentioned the mini map. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> How about that? All right, so you can see here. Um, you were born in the land of iron in the village of the Hoshikagari. You are now part of the Nara clan. Okay. As a Nara, you can accept the hidden Nara Jutsu. As a Nara, you have natural high intelligence. I'm a smart cookie. Very smart cookie. You have the wind and lightning release chakra natures. So that's actually pretty dang good. So we have wind and lightning. And we can immediately just go ahead and do a bunch of stuff like with Dragon Ball. So also, we go ahead and we grab this. Um, we got the ramen, which, you know, we could always use some more ramen. These guys, they give you ramen. And we also have kunai. So we can access the Dragon Block C stuff as you would normally for V. By normal, in order to ask the other menu, which is not that menu, it's this menu. Right here, you would actually have to hit C, but I set it for I set it for B instead because I need to actually like you know focus on a couple things. So we have a bunch of stuff that we can actually access. We're gonna let that go because right now we can't access any of that at the moment. Um, do I have any weapons? I I don't think I have any other weapons besides the uh, besides the kunai, but I don't know if kunai actually does damage. Just not. Nah, you can't even throw it. So we're just gonna have to use our fist. I have to beat up some of these poor, poor squids. So if I do this, snipe, you can see right there at the bottom, it says you have reached level 1, you have reached level 2. So I didn't gain any TP because, you know, by default, Dragon Block gives you very little TP. But you can see that by beating up these squids, I am I am currently leveling up our Naruto, what you can see in the, in the chat right now. If we go over to here to um, Naruto there, booyah, we have 6 for JP so that we can level up a skill, get a skill right off the bat. Or we could go ahead and use this for basically um, 
you get level up the skills. We already got Kinjutsu already up because we got the Hosha Kagari, Kagari affiliation, so that that's already good. Uh, we got Ninjutsu already to five, which is solid, and we can level up medical. I kind of want to level up. I want to level up our sh our um, our Shuriken to five here. Let's see. Am I able to use the Shuriken now? That now it's a five. I don't. I believe I have to actually have this at a ten in order to throw the throw kunai. Uh, what about the paper bombs? Can I can I just pop the paper bomb right there? Oh God, yeah, you can. Yeet. What? Well, I'm assuming you could probably just plop it. Oh yeah, there he goes. Haha, <laughs> paper bomb. Nice. Uh, is there any bad guys around here? I know that there were some. I need to beat some guys up here. Oh, there's the robot. All right. So at least as long as we got some robots, we can rock them, sock them, robots. So we can actually level up some stuff. I think you are only able to level up your. Uh, the Naruto EXP, you only level level up as long as you get the last hit in. I don't think it really matters how many punches you do to it. As long as you get the last hit, then the experience comes in. So, we're going to see if uh, beating up this Rock'em Sock'em robot here will actually um, level us up a little bit. Or at least give us some, uh, uh, you know, J or MCTP. Um, but at the same time, we need, to we need to beat these guys. These poor cows. I feel kind of bad for beating up a cow, but you know... You gotta get, you gotta get the level somehow, you know. You gotta get the grinding going. So there we go. All right. So that's pretty dang good. That's pretty dang good. Booyah! We're already level nine. Heck yeah. So where exactly are we on the? Oh, there's wolves here. I don't want to beat up the wolves yet. I don't want to beat not yet, but just in general, don't want to beat up wolves. Uh, get me up to level ten. All right. Now we're up to level ten. We actually can level up one of our <laughs> our ninjutsus already. Uh, we could actually get something if we wanted to. Now, I need... Where exactly are we? Uh, okay, so we are 275, um, 73, and 204. So, if I wanted to go to... We need 80, 220, 40. That's where the tower is. So, we need to go to 80 and 40. So, that's down... Uh, this way. Okay, we gotta go this way. Oh, there's another Rock'em Sock'em robot. I have to watch out for the Naruto mobs. I might have... I don't know what their spawn rates when it comes to the Naruto mods, but... Oh, there's the tower. Okay, we already found the tower. Wow, it's right there. <laughs> All right, beat up a Rock'em Sock'em robot. There we go. Freaking good. Yeah, because I feel like we need to level up a little bit here and grab... We need to make sure that we're underneath the tower because we need to go every single day to grab... Uh, to grab sensor beams from Corrin because we kind of need the Corrin sensor beams in order to do all that. Yeet. There we go. Bang. There we go. Boom. There we go. Boom. There we go. So I kind of want... Let's go grab a sensor beam and see if uh, maybe we can, you know, start up on some of the, like, you know, the, the storyline because you guys know that we have the story here. The story mode for Naruto. We could actually get that going. So... I, it's been a long time since I actually act activate this, this particular story mode. So we're going to have to actually look through this. But hey, this is actually kind of cool. I will admit, having the two Dragon Ball and Naruto put together into one mod, a mod pack, it's kind of, um, it's it's weird. I will admit that. It's definitely weird having both, like, you know, the top animes, basically, you could fight me on that, but with some of the top animes of all time, basically working together as, oh, God, uh, as one. And, oh, please. Wait, am I, is my chakra nature? Oh, yeah. My chakra nature is literally just doing this. Also, uh, I should be able to basically climb anything if I have my chakra on. So if I have my chakra on, which I activate chakra control, yeah, I could literally walk on anything now. <laughs> I literally walk on anything. Nothing, nothing matters. Except I don't think I will worry too, too much about my chakra nature once we get flying. Because once we get flying, we don't need to climb. We don't need to climb stuff. We can just fly. It's kind of silly. Uh, all right, yo, Corin. Uh, give me that, give me that dank sensu. Yeah, I should have said it so that Kent's corn gives you like five sensu beans off the bat. But you know, get that flying Nimbus too, so now we're flying. Woohoo! All right, so there we go. Now it's freaking nighttime. I don't know if I like nighttime. I don't know if Naruto mobs spawn in the night. I don't think so. So I think I'm just gonna set it back to day here, just so that we can, uh, you know, just so that we actually have some lightness. I, you could say that. Oh, you could fight me at that. Like, oh, Patch cheating because he's sending it to daytime. Nah. Not that good. <laughs> Not at all. Don't worry. Don't worry about it, my friends. We're already level 13. Wow. So freaking cool. Just by beating these guys up, we're already level 13. But you know, on on top of it, we should just start. We should just straight up start up on these. Uh, we should just straight up start up on the on the storyline. I think you know, we should just straight up start. Up. I want to stand on this tree though to start the storyline. There we go. Let's go. Booyah. All right. So let's pop that in there. Pop that in there. We got paper bombs. Why not? We'll just put that there. Put the raw beef there. Put that there. Put that over there. Story mode time. 
Story mode, bang. Enter story mode. Enter Naruto Uzumaki. A long time ago, there lived a fox spirit. A fox with nine tails. I forgot it does this. Uh, it would crumble mountains and summon tsunamis. As a result, the ninjas were forced to bound together and seal it with the sacrifice of a single ninja. However, one of the seal, um, once it was sealed, it would perish. That ninja was the fourth Hokage. Hey, um, I'll trail up. You're late for class. How Where am I? I was going to say. Um, lesson for today. The Kage Bujin no Jutsu. Ha ha ha, this is gonna be super easy. Believe it. Study okay, um study the Kagibushin no jutsu. So I gotta study the Kajibushin no jutsu, which I think isn't that just a isn't that uh substitution jutsu? Or is that just a um they want me to actually learn how to do the uh substitution the the crap, what's it called? The the actual jutsu to give you a uh, shadow club. Ah. Yeah, I, I know what exactly what I'm talking about here when I do that. Okay. Oh, sexy jutsu. What if I... Is it sexy jutsu? Like, it's literally the fe the first one, the uh, the Kage Bushin no jutsu. Is that literally... Um, is that literally the sexy jutsu? There we go. I got the sexy jutsu going. <laughs> I got sexy jutsu. Heck yeah. Uh, well done, everyone, except for Naruto. So there we go. Oh, it actually gave us the Kage Bushin no jutsu. I had to actually right-click, and it gives us this. All right, that's enough. Uh, class is over for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. I'll show them all. So if I do this now, oh, it gives me an Altrail. Wow, so cool. Oh, God, I didn't realize it actually holds exactly what you're holding. It's holding a Setsu Bean. That's interesting. Kajibushin no Jutsu. So there we go. Okay, so next for story. Oh, it, it, it gave me five experience, and now we're level 14. Heck yeah. All right, that's pretty dang simple. I think eventually it will start spawning, like, start, start spawning mobs here. So we actually have to kind of be careful. Oh, we got another sec. Oh, God. We got multiple sexy ju sexy jutsus. Oh, look. We're freaking adorable. All right. So next up, uh, shuriken practice. All right. We're going to uh, practice shuriken jutsu. Everyone take the take the shuriken. There we go. Shuriken. Um, now learn how to use them. All right. So I think we just kind of chuck it, right? Yeah, there we go. I did it. I, I threw it. So he was like, you nailed it. Yeah, I was going to say. I, I really just, I just went like this. Yeet. Wait. Yeet. There we go. It does six. I was gonna say it does six damage. I didn't realize it was do six. My fists do it currently whopping sixteen. Actually, I'm just kind of. I wish it actually told me exactly what it did because I'm kind of curious if uh, the punching will um punching like you know with Naruto and Dragon Ball goes together. I wonder if that's the case. But you know, we're still learning these things. We're gonna learn how these mods interact together. So. Does that give us a little bit? Yep. Now we are level seven. We're level seventeen already. Heck yeah. Um, now we can actually level up something. Oh yeah. See, it says there. Kenjutsu fifteen for the paper bombs. Uh, sure, Kenjutsu ten. So there we go. And this one for regular kunai, you need Kenjutsu fifteen. I love how now it's telling me all this stuff. In my other series, I would totally love to know all this stuff, but now it's actually teaching me how to do it. All right. Cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it actually says there. Get a clone of yourself. Chakra cost 10. Uh, throw a uh, throw off your opponent with a naked naked uh, girl there. How much do we have for points? Now, okay, wrong button. We gotta hit B. We got 11 and 12. So for right now, I think I'm just gonna hold on to this stuff, and we're just gonna actually do that. You need to be level 25 in order to start level. Okay, so you actually do have to level up certain ways. What level are we currently? We are currently level 17. All right, so we actually do have to fight some mobs in the meantime. Now, one thing I would love to do, love to learn, is to figure out exactly where a rocky biome is. So I could do some of the Dragon Ball stuff on top of it. Uh, the Dragon Ball stuff is, like, it would give us a lot of experience. Especially, oh, we actually have TP. We actually can, well, we can't level up anything yet. We need a, we need 16 to even go up a point. I feel like I've got to, actually, you know what? Because, you know, we're going to, we're going to make the difficulty insane just so that we can actually get some more points. Uh, we need to level up some some stuff right off the bat. So let's go, dude. Yeet. There we go. There we go. I was going to say, straight up punching stuff. Yeah, we're level 18. Level. Yeah, I was going to say, we're level 18 right now, just beating up a bunch of poor, innocent um, squids. They're just kind of hanging out, having a good time, you know? I'm just absolutely destroying them. Also, let's set the difficulty to hard. I, 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 feel like, I feel like this is a bad idea, setting everything to hard. But, like, you know, I have both Dragon Ball and Naruto currently, like, you know, like, like making my character super strong. I feel like I feel like it's okay, you know. I feel like it's perfectly fine having the two having the two together. We could set the strict to absolutely ridiculous. Also, 
I don't know if I beat up if I beat up people with the seeds in my hand if I will level up my Naruto stuff. But we're level 19 already. But also, we could probably um let's see here. I could probably come up with a jutsu already, right? Could probably come up with a jutsu. Let's see here. Um Taijutsu, maybe we can do a Taijutsu. I wonder if Taijutsu will combine with Dragon Ball. See, that's one thing. I got to figure this out. I wonder if it would combine with Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball's just going to overpower all this. Uh, we're going to have to figure this all out. So, here we go. We got lightning. Oh, we could do static force right out the bite or vacuum sphere. Uh, let's see. Medical jutsus. Medical jutsus are kind of cool. Uh, Nar Shadow imitation. Now nah, we don't need that at the moment. Uh, you know, let's, let's level this bad boy up. Let's see. You need to be a, your Taijutsu needs to be at least level 50 in order to do this. All right. Fair enough. Rock'em Sock'em robots over here are going to... Let's go, dude. Let's go. Rock'em Sock'em robots. Let's level up our freaking... Oh, oh, God. I didn't realize... Wait. Can I actually level up? I leveled up beating up my own my own uh, Shadow Clones. I leveled up beating up my Shadow Clones. I am I a terrible person? <laughs> I used my own clones for my training. I guess that work. I guess whatever works, you know? In the end of the day, if, if, you need, if you need to do a certain way in order to level up, like, I guess that's okay. But there we go. We actually got up to level 25 now. Wait. If we're 25, that means we could actually gain another 75 points and we'll be able to have Super Saiyan. I kind of want to go Super Saiyan before anything else already. I, that kind, that's kind of what I want to do. I kind of want to go Super Saiyan and just, you know, get exactly what we need, which would actually be stupidly funny uh, right off the bat. But, hey, if we could go Super Saiyan and then be, like, you know, a Super Saiyan uh, ninja... Uh, I don't know how overpowered that would be, but at the same time, I, I kind of want to do it because, you know, we're doing like all these ridiculous jutsu moves while being a Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan Blue Evolution or Ultra Instinct doing all these ridiculous ninja moves. I'm actually kind of curious. Now, like I said before, we have to, you know, we're going to have to figure out, you know, when it comes to these, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to figuring out all these mods, we're going to have to see if... Naruto actually keeps up with Dragon Ball. See, if I did plop, like, you know, several thousand points in the strength, yeah, Dragon Ball is going to, Dragon Ball is going to absolutely overpower and overshadow everything that Naruto is trying to do for it. But, I have, like, the distinct, oh, I activate Chakra Control. I didn't, I forgot that Chakra Control is the same button that, uh, that uh, you would access your story system for Dragon Block. But we're going to have to figure out, like, you know, which one is, you know, which one do we want to do? do we, like, which one is better? You know, like, we're going to have to figure this up. Uh, kill Cyberman. Oh, God, we can just go ahead and hit the Cyberman right off the bat. Oh, God, this was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. Okay, you know what? No. Sexy Clue Jutsus, go. My friends, attack. Uh, attack them. Oh, this was such a bad idea. Taking care of this stuff. All right, you know what? Um, Activate the Chakra. Activate Chakra Control. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Okay, we're up here. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Are they gonna are they gonna attack me? Where are they? Oh, there we go. Okay, my my dude. <laughs> go forth, my pets. Attack. Wait, do I have another? I do have a shuriken. If I hit a shuriken, is it actually gonna attack it? Go go at it. Nah, it doesn't care. Fine. Well, it looks like in the meantime we. Oh wait, 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 wait. What if we play the smart? Oh, what? Yeah, I was gonna say. What if we use these? How much does that do? I don't think it does a lot of damage. I think it did like two damage to them. Oh God! Okay, we, we're right. We're we made mistakes. Okay, we made mistakes. Don't come up here. Okay, don't you dare come up here, you stupid freaking Cyberman. See, I thought you had to be in a rocky biome to actually do this stuff, but apparently you don't have to anymore. What the crap? Go away! I'm about to die already. I don't have any sensu beads. I'm just gonna eat raw beef. Oh wait. Oh snap, guys. Oh, before the end of this episode already. Am I going to be a ninja great ape? Yeah, I'm straight up just going to be a ninja great ape. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm a ninja great ape. I am a ninja great ape. Oh, my God. All right, guys. Wait. If I do this. Okay, it doesn't. I thought it would be. I thought it would make me into a great ape as well, but no, I wouldn't do that. All right. You know what? We're going to eat this set of bean, and we're going to freaking. Let's go! Oh, crap. I forgot these are Cybermen. So they're, like, a little bit weird to fight when you're a great ape. You have to, like, look at them down. You have to look down at them in order to hit them. Let's go, dude. You ready to fight? You ready to tussle? I will destroy you, you stupid bi you stupid idiots. Oh, God. Never mind. I lie. I lie. Oh, I lie so much. Oh, my God. I almost died. Um, 
go forth, my sexy uh, clone jutsu. I like how the sexy clone jutsus have six health each, while normal shadow clones have one health. So these guys could get absolutely destroyed off the bat. There they are. They're over there. They're all being smug over to me, and I can't stop them because they're way too freaking strong for me. But hey, we apparently we got some leveling up to do. We got some. We definitely got some training that we got to pull off if we're gonna be able to even do anything to fight anybody in this mob. When it comes to the Naruto stuff, maybe we'll be okay to fight them. But for right now, yeah, we need we need to figure this bad boy out. But on that note, everybody. I think I'm going to go right ahead and do it. End this particular video right here. This might be a really fun series if you guys are totally down for it. I'm going to be trying out and playing a couple more episodes of this uh, in one get-go. Uh, you guys want to check more out, let me know in the comments below. I feel like I'm going to have to figure out ways of maybe... We're going to have to figure out ways of getting more TP, both for Naruto and Dragon Ball. It feels like the Naruto is a little bit more uh, easier to get, but... Dragon Ball is always a pain in the butt to get TP, so I'm going to have to adjust some configs. But I um, hope you guys will enjoy this. My god, I, I think a Shadow Clone is still beating the snot out of uh, a Cyberman. Go forth, my, my pets. <laughs> On that note, we'll say thank you guys for joining me yet again, and we'll be seeing you later! <laughs>